These types of game are everywhere, so let's see how we can create one of our own. So I pre-made the scene with a plane that is colored purple and a hole that is basically a sprite. We'll also create a 3D capsule and change its position and scale. What we want is when the hole hit the object, the object will fall down and get destroyed. And for bonus, the player will get some points. To start, let's add a capsule collider on the hole sprite. Make sure we have a collider on our object and add a rigid body component. To the capsule we'll add a new tag and call it object. I know it's not the best name, but that's it for this tutorial. Also, go to the plane object and disable the mesh collider. Now it's time to create the whole script. Not the all script, the whole script. On trigger enter, what we wanted to do is to check if the object got the object tag, that means we want it to fall down, get the object's rigid body component and set the use gravity to true. That way the object will fall down. Set the capsule collider to trigger because we don't want it to move things around. And on the capsule on the rigid body component, make sure to disable gravity. Apply the whole script to the whole object and play. The first part works great. To make the object disappear and give the player some points, let's duplicate our plane, drag it a bit down and call it destroyer. Let's create for it a new transparent material because we don't want to see it. And now create a destroyer script. We can just copy and paste the on trigger enter function from the whole script to the destroyer script and add a few lines. First of all, instead of enabling gravity, let's destroy the object. Then create a static int variable to hold the player's score and add one every time we destroy an object. For now, let's print the score in the console. Attach the script to the destroyer plane and replace the mesh collider with a box collider. It's way easier for us to set it the trigger this way and work with it. And that's basically the easy way to do it. It's not the best way to do it and that is why I changed the mode of the game. The games you see in the app store are usually made with 3D models with holes in them. I'm currently learning 3D modeling, but this will come soon. Check the details of the video to see the new theme I got for this game instead of a hole. And see you later. Bye!